Hello everyone, welcome to our Good Morning Tarot. Well, another day is beginning and I'd like to invite you to a general tarot reading that is open to all zodiac signs. Now, just take what resonates with you. At the same time, it's timeless. So anytime you find yourself watching this video, that's the best time for you. Now let's see what is the main energy for today. We have here the devil. Okay. It seems like uh, the universe wants us to make some spring cleaning, some decluttering of certain aspects of our life. This card comes when the universe wants us to address certain aspects in our life that uh, we sort of neglected. You see, these two people, they were tied to the chain, which is very loosely tied. I mean, they can remove it from their neck, but they didn't remove it anymore. Why? Because they got used to having that in their necks. At the same time, it's been a long, whatever it is that they have tied into their neck. It can be a habit, a bad habit. It can be uh, an addiction in a certain sense. Now, there are different degrees of addiction. Uh, it can be a relationship that is not healthy for you. you know? You try to see what it is. It is something that has been with you for a long time. Because these two people, they develop already tails and horns. So it means that it's it sort of like became already a habit or part of their uh, regular living. So uh, try to see which aspects in your life right now that you can improve on. Which aspects of your life which you know is not good for you. But for one reason or another, you didn't address it. You let it fester for a long time. It's, if, it's as if the card right now is asking you to give attention to it and let it go. To finally remove that chain that is around your neck and work on it. It's hard if it took a long time for it to become, you know, tolerable for you. It will take some time for you to remove it. But uh, they say it takes 21 days to develop a new habit. So you start working on get replacing it. Usually the best way to overcome something is to replace it with something that is better. So you try to replace it with something better. If you are able to do it for 21 days, that is only three weeks. If you can endure for three weeks, uh, replacing a bad habit with something that is much better or a bad relationship by doing something much better like working on yourself, nurturing yourself. After three weeks, you'll start, actually after one week, you start to feel better. After three weeks, then you are able to develop a different kind of, a different habit already. If you will just endure for three weeks. It's not quite hard. I mean, one week passes so fast. If you just uh, conscientiously work on it, you will succeed. Now, you see here, um, <clears throat> the whole card is filled with darkness. So, the darkness brings to it light. In a certain sense, it draws light. And somehow, because in your darkness, it's as if the universe is drawn to do something and help you. So don't hesitate to ask the help of the universe. If there's something that you cannot do on your own, ask the help of the universe. And the light will dispel the darkness. Right now, the star on the head of the devil is inverted. For me, it means that somehow there is lacking of guidance, lacking of enlightenment, lacking of the light. So for some of you, if you are in the darkness right now, all you have to do is to, if you're tired of the situation that you are in, all you have to do is to say a little prayer. Lord, I don't want this situation anymore. I want a better life. Please help me. Ask and you shall receive. 
Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. So I feel this is the invitation of the card. Uh, even if your life is okay now, there are certain aspects in your life that you can improve on. And this card is asking you to do so. It's like uh, spiritual, mental, relational decluttering. Okay, now let's try to see how this will unfold further. Okay, if you start working on it, you will have the world. You will succeed. Okay, and it will be, you will be a winner. You see here, there's a wreath of a winner. And it will teach you lessons on lessons on life so yeah the universe is asking you to attend to these things because the universe knows that you will succeed so start working on it okay now um, let's see what is the advice of the universe for us well generosity empathy generosity is number one you need to be generous to yourself you work on this because you need to work on this because you deserve better. You deserve a better life. So first you need to be generous to yourself. That's why there's a balance. And something about being generous to others will help you also overcome these bad things. No, You replace something bad with something good. After three weeks, you'll start to prefer doing that something good. So. It can start also with being generous to others. You try to see in what aspects in your life you can be generous to others. Like for example, if you are in a toxic relationship, ask the Divine to help you. Maybe alleviate the toxicity of that relationship. Sometimes the best way to help all parties concerned is to let go of the relationship for a while and allow yourself to be healed. Later on, maybe when you are healed, then maybe the universe will let you see how you can be of service or how you can improve the relationship. But the first thing I think, the first and important thing is to be kind to yourself. Free yourself, free yourself from all these negative things. You deserve a better life. And from the abundance of the success that you have received, you can share to other people in the future. Like for example, the lessons you've learned, you might be able to share to people who are undergoing the same thing that you underwent. Well, that's it for our reading for today. I hope it resonates with you. Uh, so the devil has, we have different degrees of little devils in our life that we need to attend to. Well, the card it seems to be telling us, come on guys, let's work on these little things. You deserve to be a winner. And you deserve to be kind to yourself. And in that kindness, it will overflow also to the other people around you. Well, that's it for our tarot reading. Let us now go to our self-care tip. Okay, for our self-care tip, our card belongs to the Affirmators cards. And today's card is entitled, Ups and Downs. You see here, a frog is doing bungee jumping. But the sad part of it is that uh, it seems like the bungee cord was cut. <laughs> and the frog is about to fall. Well, I hope he's about to fall on a pond, so it will be exciting. Okay. Anyway, it says here in the card, I see life as an incredible ride, and I'm lucky to be on it. Yes, the ups and downs makes, makes me want to puke sometimes, but they are also what makes things fun and interesting. And when you look back, even puking on yourself makes for a good story. Mm, yeah, you know, the, the, the crazy things that happen in our life sometimes after many years. At first, when they happen, we feel a little bit ashamed. <laughs> but later on, when we become older, when we look back, 
we just laugh on those moments. Well, it really makes life beautiful and interesting and colorful. Now, when you look at the tarot card reading we just said, you know, letting go of those dark sides of our life, uh, those are the downs, the downsides. And there are also ups and downs. And it makes us realize, you know, these things, they come into our life, they have good effects also to us. It teaches us to be humble. At the same time, I feel this card, this ups and downs card, tells us to just be kind to ourselves, to laugh it off and start working on it. I mean, don't allow yourself to remain down. Go up and down, up and down. It means you need to be alive and being alive is improving always, trying to work on yourself. But don't be hard on yourself. All of us have our ups and downs. Everyone has. So at the same time, it teaches us also not to be judgmental of others. It's like learning to live and let live. Learning to live is being kind to yourself, allowing yourself to commit mistakes, but also not allowing yourself to remain in the mud, to work on yourself so that you can get out of the mud. Okay, so you were in the mud, laugh it off and go on again. So in a certain sense, just work on yourself, but don't be too hard on yourself also. Don't be too condescending on yourself to the point that you'll be discouraged and you don't feel like extricating yourself from a terrible situation. Actually, you can, you can free yourself there. All you have to do is to ask from the Divine to help you. Because oftentimes we get to be stuck in a certain situation which we do not want to be in, but we discover we are already stuck. And as much as we want to free ourselves, we, we just couldn't extricate ourselves anymore. So when that, hap that moment comes, be humble enough to accept, I need help. If you need professional help, then ask professional help. If you need the help of a friend, then ask the help of a friend. But the important thing also is don't forget to ask the help of the Divine. Because sometimes in the darkness, all the Divine has to do is to bring the light and you will see the bigger picture and you will know how to free yourself from the situation. So ask help and don't be too hard on yourself. Accept that life has its ups and downs, but don't remain down there. It's ups and downs, so it means you can also free yourself and be up there also. So just enjoy the ride. This is life. Don't be too hard on yourself. At the same time, yeah, don't be too hard on other people too. But yeah, like there will be moments you will have to spring clean. <laughs> You will have to extricate yourself from certain muds that you never thought you were there. Okay, Now that the card came, the tarot card came that you need to work on certain things, then work on it. It's part of life's uh, colorful moments. Okay, The downsides and you know that from the downside there will be some moments of ups again. So it's like, yeah, it's ups and downs and spirals, spirals also. There will be moment you are feeling good and there will be moment you are down there. It's part also of the wheel of life, the wheel of fortune. That's life. And that's, that's what makes life colorful. Well, I hope that our Good Morning Tarot has been beneficial for you right now in your journey. I uh, wish you a good day and uh, may these insights accompany you and help you as you face today's challenge. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.